Hello everyone, welcome to now a session of core strengthening and posture exercises. This is also a session among others that we do at Misty Mountain. Is it true that we, or many of us at least, come to a point, wow, that doesn't go so easy anymore. You feel that you lose a little bit on your functionality, that it is, that is your physical functionality. That's why we need a bit of maintenance. I'll give you an example. Please have your legs straight. Pull your feet up a little bit. Have your back straight. Maybe your shoulders back a bit. Is this good posture? I tend to think that everyone would agree with me. But it's not so easy, right? Hmm. That's probably an evidence that you may have lost a little bit over time. Because when you were very young, the age of a toddler, you could sit like this. You had this muscle tension. You had this posture. Now we have to work on it. So join me. The very next exercise that I like to do with you is where we synchronize the breathing and the motion. When we breathe, make sure you do it deep. They call it breathing from the tummy. So, ideally your tummy comes out when you breathe in and when you breathe out, the tummy goes back in again. Let's put this into practice in combination with the motion of the following exercise. Arms are out wide. Try to keep them in line with the shoulders. Then we slowly twist sideways and breathe everything out. You hold it there. Breathe in deep when you return. The other side. Breathe out when you go sideways and in when you return. Arms are getting heavy, great. And again, out when you go sideways. Hold, breathe in when you return. And once more on the other side, breathe out, hold and breathe in when you return. Lower the arms, have a little break. Maybe your legs or your lower back are playing up a little bit. Just relax them. I know that the relaxation is as important as the exercise itself. We alternate tension on the muscles, posture, but then we relax in between. A similar exercise goes as follows. Again, the legs are straight. You probably understand now that everything is in the sitting position. This session, that is. Now we have the arms in front of us. They don't have to be straight, but it does come from the shoulders. It goes like this. We move the shoulders forward and breathe in. We hold our breath, return and breathe out. Pull the shoulders back and breathe in. Hold, return, breathe out. You got the set? Here it goes. Forward, breathe in deep. Return, breathe out. Pull back, breathe in. Return, breathe out. One more set, forward, breathe in, hold, return, breathe out, pull back, breathe in, return, breathe out. Wonderful, lower the arms, again, relax the legs. Okay, have you recovered from that one? I like us to focus a bit more on the breathing. I think you understood what I meant with the deeper breathing. It doesn't really come from the shoulders, it comes from the tummy. So continue doing that. However, I also mentioned breathing in and out through the nose. If not, I'm doing it now. Try to do nose breathing. There are various benefits of nose breathing. You can look it up. 
However, this is how we're going to do it now. We're going to do a particular breathing exercise of which I believe we all benefit from. Here it goes. Have your back straight. You can have your legs the way it is still comfortable. I want you to be comfortable, but a straight upper body. Breathe in and out through the nose. Now, please slowly breathe everything out. Yes, you're empty, hold it there. Then, slowly and again through the nose, breathe in, taking your time until you're full. That's where you're about now. Hold it. Then, again through the nose, slowly breathe out until you're completely empty. Hold it there. And now we repeat. Breathe in. One, two, hold, three, four. Breathe everything out. Five, six, you're empty and hold. Seven, eight, again, in, one, two, hold, three, four, all out, five, six, and hold, seven, eight. Now back to a normal pattern of breathing, but deep. How did that go? You now got yourself an oxygen boost. You need it, because you are very physically active. Okay, exercise and deep breathing. Here we go. Have your legs again straight, back straight, shoulders back a bit, and now you position your hands on the back of your head. And now what? Well, now you pull the arms back. You hold it, challenging. Well, you can enhance the experience by leaning a little bit forward with a straight back. Wow, do you feel that? Do that for another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Back up again. Take the tension off the shoulders. Recover for a moment. Now the arms are wa out wide. Maybe my arms don't even appear in the picture, but believe me, they are there. Yeah? But the same thing. You pull your arms back and then you feel it, feel it in your shoulders. And to enhance again the whole experience, lean a bit forward with a straight back. While you do this, don't hold your breath. Just hold it while breathing for another three, two, one, and then come back up again. Now you get some relief on the arms. Now you bring your hands together like this. Importantly, bring your elbows together. The challenge kicks in when you bring the arms up higher. I don't know how high you can bring it up. Hold it there. What do you experience? A little shake? I do. We hold it there for another three, two, one. Slowly bring them down. Bit of relief. Next one. Cross your arms. Put your hands on your shoulders. Do it rather tight. Is your, are your legs still straight? Is my back still straight? Are you breathing deep? Just a little reminder. But here's the challenge with the arms and shoulders. Bring the arms up high. 
as far as your body allows you to. You hold it up, as awkward as it is. We hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. Bring them down. And as confusing as it can be, cross the arms the opposite way. And then the same exercise. You ready? Okay. Bring it up. Bring it up high. Higher. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring them down. And guess what? Just relax. Put your arms there. And just have a little break. Because you probably feel your legs. Maybe your shoulders. Maybe your lower back. How's the breathing going? You ready for the next exercise? Well, I've got good news. The good news is that now you can find support behind yourself there and have your legs spread. Looks like this. That's maybe too good. So we have to do something about it. Move your hands and your arms a bit further away and a little bit closer together. Do it in a way that your body can handle it, right? Now, alert. I'm gonna ask you in this position to lift a leg. But before you do so, be aware that legs can get heavier over the years for whatever reason. So if you lift a leg and you feel doesn't go, that it doesn't go easy, that's understandable. But if you force it, you may cramp up a bit. So don't do this. Lift the leg, feel it out. Is the leg cooperative? Great. Maybe a bit higher, maybe a bit lower. But if you feel that it cramps up, bring it down. But what if the leg doesn't come up at all? Well, it was designed to do so. So wake up the leg a little. Make some little moves. It has a memory. It is just uh, a bit forgetful. But okay, this is the idea, whether you can do it like this or lower, you bring it up and then you do some little ankle rotations. That works? Change direction. Now, does this work? Make rotations with the whole leg. Bit bigger and change direction. Wow, that leg is getting heavy. I warned you. We bring that leg down, give it a bit of a break, recovery time for that leg. How about the other one? Well, it may not be the same story. Lift it, lift it a little bit or a little bit higher. Caution, avoid cramp. Little ankle rotations, wonderful. Change direction. Circles with the whole leg, bigger maybe, change direction again, long enough, bring it down, recovery time, even if it means that you want to shake your legs. Now, some of you like to try this one out, some of you don't. Here it goes. Can you do both legs? Little anchor rotations, circles, hard, isn't it? Smile and pretend that it is easy and then bring it down. Great, recovery time. How's the breathing going? Deep? Make sure you take enough time for your recovery. Here's another one. You ready? Spread the legs again. And also the hands and the arms are behind you again. First, you point the feet towards you. That means there's all tension in the legs. Then you push your chest forward as far as it goes. Tip the head backwards and hang on to this position for how long? Well, another five, four, three, 
two, one, relax. Excellent. Recovery. Play a little bit with the legs, maybe with your shoulders, or wherever you feel that your body is giving you some feedback that it wants to have a bit of a relaxation there. Breathing is deep. So, have you recovered? Then we are ready for the next one. For that, I'd like you to stick to the left and right instructions. Otherwise, it may get a little confusing. So, please have your legs spread to start off with, but then pull in your right leg. It looks like this. What you can try out is to bring it a little lower. Now, here's another alert, another warning. As legs can get heavier over time, so can legs get lengthier over time. So keep this leg straight and reach out for this left foot. Does it work? Great. But if it doesn't work, still keep the left leg straight, reach out, whether you can reach it or not, you will have a stretch. Now, we ne generally reach out for our left foot with our left hand. How about reaching also with the right hand? Wonderful. While you stretch, consider your breathing. You may know that if you breathe out, you can do just that little bit more. At least that how it feels. Then come up, sort out your back, and now take note. This leg, put it on the other side of the straight leg. Many of you can guess what's going to happen now. We're going to do one of those many spinal twists that you have among exercises like this. Right leg is bent, what side to twist to? Well, right leg, right hands, put them on your right hand side. You're already halfway if you have your hands there. Then turn a little further, also turn your head away. In this position, try to relax, breathe well still. Hold this for a few seconds. Then slowly come back. Be gentle with all the muscles, the vertebrae and the discs in between. Okay, what is bent is now straight. What was straight is now bent. Can we reach out for the right foot? And again, you can reach it or maybe you can't. But keep that leg straight and give yourself a chance. Right foot, right hand. What about the left hand? Or both hands? Regulate your breathing. And then come back up again. Sort out your back, turn it around. Cross over this left foot on the other side of the straight leg. And then gently make the twist the opposite way. Counterclockwise in this case. Both arms and hands are there. Go a little beyond. And come back and just then just recover for a moment we're gonna wrap it up this session that is have your feet together like this pull your feet a little closer 
And again, when you have been there before, aim for a straight back. What about those legs? Can they go a little lower? I like us to do a breathing exercise. It is a little different of what we have done before. So refocus on the better breathing, that is deep and coming from the tummy. In and out through the nose. Breathe everything out. You're empty and whole. Then breathe in a little bit and stop. Breathe in a little bit more and stop. And a little bit more again until you can have no more. You're full and whole. Then, through the nose, breathe everything out. Everything. Please, put a bit of effort in that. Everything out. You're empty. Hold it. And do another cycle like this, another two times. There we go. And everything out. Everything. And again. And everything out. Back to normal deep breathing. Then, as the very last thing, now bend forward, first with a straight back and then beyond if that's possible for you. Hold it there for a few seconds. Then back up again to a straight back. So that was the curve forward. That is an exercise for the flexibility of your spinal column. Visualize the vertebrae and the discs and everything that's attached to it. Now the curve is sideways. So keep the lower body where it is. Sidewards, including the neck. Hold it there for a few seconds. Then back up again. Hold it there for a moment. Opposite side. Sideways. Hold it there for a few seconds. Back up. You're still regulating the breathing. Straighten the legs. And this is the end of this session. Thank you very much.